So, <laughs> oh man, you remember when we tried to record um, last time? Yeah, that and was um, <laughs> that was a really good podcast too. No, Damn nobody, it, it was. Nobody get to hear it. <laughs> we cut up in everything. I yeah, swear, we covered a lot of good stuff, man. Oh man, yeah, but hey, whatever. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. I remember when I noticed that I didn't hit the record button. And you were in mid sentence and I tried to stop you. I was like, this, uh, yeah, this is not even, I'm not even going to let him finish. I can't <laughs> even let him finish. I have to stop him right now because yeah, he's going to hate like, me if I just, me. I was like, I just, I was like, that damn. I was like, how can I? I'm, I'm, I'm not even listening to you at that point because I'm trying to figure out how could I say this without him cursing me out? I was like, um, oh, Hold on, it's like I know you're gonna say mother father, so <laughs> uh, but the, I didn't want a dirty look, <clears throat> so I was like, Oh man, um, let me figure this out. <clears throat> so I was like, Terrence, you remember that? Oh, yeah, man. and I was like, What? He was like, You gonna kill me? Like, <laughs> like, what happened, man? <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> And not to exacerbate the whole thing later with the audio issues with K- with K Ron, man. I, I was like, yeah, come did on. You, did you not see my? You saw my message, right? I did when not. We were, no, I won't see a recording. When we were last time, we tried to record. I put yeah. it in the. Um, did you see the chat? The private chat. You know, I. And I think. All I right, so this is the reason why I didn't see it, and this is another reason why I shouldn't use the iPad. Is the, the screen is too small and is far away because oh. sometimes I had it connected to like a 40 inch screen and I can see it really well with no problem. But I just had it sitting on a table and God. I was I didn't have it zoomed in. So I would it just showed our faces. I saw oh. nothing. <laughs> Dang, I, I wish I had known that before. I think I text you, but my main thing was I, I put it in the chat. Oh, man. As soon as it happened, I was like, the static is back. Ain't your fault, man. You know it's 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 one of the things I'm, I just yeah. Because remember good my sport dad about it, he was I was like, oh, this is going to happen here. <laughs> like when uh, we were doing um Clubhouse, my dad mm. was working fine. Like three episodes, and then all of a sudden it started that static thing. Man, I tell you, I tell you, it's is is it's like heartbreaking, right? Because yeah. <laughs> There has been other like really really popular podcasts that have done the same thing. Like okay, oh, yeah, I heard the stories, man. Oh, I'm talking man. about big big time guests that they could only get one time. <laughs> or there was one time where they had like the audio only going from one end, and there was yeah. only the the echo from the other side. From the I was like, dang. And you know what? I was like, man, that ain't never gonna happen to me. <laughs> man, let me tell you. That's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get, man. But hey man, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so what have you been up to since the last time we tried? Um, I tried. <laughs> to the record. last time we tried. I'm trying uh, to think. A week ago. I think it was what is it, Sunday or was it a Sunday? Yeah. No, it couldn't be. Was it? Was it? Hmm. I think it was a Wednesday. I, I normally know. try to record a Wednesday. I think it is. Yeah. Um. I did. Is that I did. Record? Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Hold up. Hold up. We can't let this moment pass us by. Yo, memories. Memories of the ice oh. cream truck. Holy crap. Whoa. Whoa. Beautiful. Perfect. So moment. um ba- back in the day. No, no, hold on. Back in the day. When you heard the ice cream truck, what type of feeling did you have like growing up when during the summer too? Man, that like, was excitement. That was that was go time. You could hear it, man. Everything. You could hear it like a couple of blocks away. You knew it was coming. Oh man. And it was oh. You know, when you grow up, <laughs> you realize that the person driving the truck was either a drug dealer or, or a pedophile. You were like, whoa. 
<laughs> oh man, come on. <laughs> hey, hey, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. That that's the thing. <clears throat> so how do you feel like hearing that noise now, knowing that <laughs> that, that existed? It's like I gotta watch out for these kids. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Get that. Up. Get that up. Go. Don't don't linger. It's no loiter in it. Don't get in the van. Man, does what are you the, doing? Shoot, does the ice cream truck? I'm trying to think the last time I heard an ice cream truck. Oh, shoot. Not many times during COVID, I tell you that. Nah. I think <laughs> I might have been at, um, yeah, I think I was at the Union Hall downtown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. this dude pull up. But I think he had more than like ice cream. He had other stuff. He had drugs. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know. Um, I meant like sandwiches and stuff like oh, that. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about big worm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh gosh. Hey man. Yeah, it it, used, it brings back memories because I remember during the summer there was some stuff that we 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 like hold dear to us. I don't know if you remember. Um. The, the 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 church lunches during the summer like the little the the, the truck come uh and they unload with these crates and stuff and they had yeah. like the frozen the little packet things and you sit at the church and eat it whatever do you remember that yeah it's like it was kind of like the school free lunches yes it was kind of like, and it was also like the ice cream truck it was like yeah. we about to get some free shit today yeah because them, them i remember them uh lunches for the summer man it, the, the juices were always frozen oh hey look let me tell you here's <laughs> it was a balance between these things i hated and loved it you know why i hated and loved it the sandwiches was, shit it was yeah. terrible yeah they were the worst sandwiches ever in life. It, it made you want to do better in life. That's what it, <laughs> that was. It, the shit was like so. It was like, damn, you can't even like. Why is this bread so soggy, man? It's not in the good way. You know, like you get something from like a, a, a professional sub making place, and then the soggy is because they just put oil and vinegar on there, and you like, oh, that's that's what I wanted. But you get this soggy ass bread because this is frozen and it's defrosted and it's it's like glued onto the to the meat. <laughs> <laughs> and you tried to put you tried to put mustard and shit on there. You like, oh damn, never mind. You know, and you go to the juice and you go to the fruit cup. That's what I'm about to say next. That fruit cup was frozen too. Ooh, the pineapple cheese. But they were good though. <laughs> and it was hot. Hey, you know. Mm, I remember. And then we used to sit on the stoop. <laughs> Because I've lived across the street from the church. We used to sit on the stoop and play That's My Car. Oh. <laughs> Memories, man. Yeah, well, we really got to dive into that. What was it like living across the street from the church? <sighs> That's a whole episode into yeah, so. yeah. We got Even if we don't record it, we got to have that conversation because I'm curious oh about God. that. <laughs> I think I have PTSD from that. I don't something man yeah yes. man i mean hey i don't know it's like you hey we didn't see y'all today but we saw them cars in the yard I oh i wouldn't even talk about that yes that happened too i was talking about more of the <laughs> let me tell you something real quick before we go into the real topic of the show all right so let me tell you um um at, when i was a teenager mm-hmm. um my mom was like one of the the trustees of the church. Okay, I don't, I can't remember what office she held, but she had the key to the church uh, okay. uh, and the alarm code because okay, it was like okay. it was like the age in that that point in the nineties where you was like, all right, people started like really stealing your shit mm-hmm. from churches, <laughs> right? Churches that was crazy. I was just like, man, y'all you ain't scared to steal from church. I I probably know the dude that did it because it was like one dude that was notorious, <laughs> but. Um, so they had alarm code. All right. So living across the street from the church, dark, uh, graveyard and everything. It's black church. You know, oh, it's small. It's, it's small creepy. and creepy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and the alarm go off. And I'm a teenager, so I'm like, I ain't gonna let my mama go over right. there and check. Right. <laughs> like, what type of bitch am I? <laughs> hey, mama, I got your back. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. 
I hold the phone to the door because you know if we ain't had like cell phones like that. Right. Like, I, hold, I hold the phone to the door. <laughs> so I was like, what am I going to do? So I'm going over there. Man, that was the scariest shit. <laughs> it's creepy as hell, man, because you had the graveyard right there. And the way you had to turn the light on is you had to go into the thing far enough. You know, like you go into rooms and you're like, I got to walk to the other side of the room to turn on the light. This is terrible design. Who did the electrical work? Oh, man, I hate those setups. Heck, yeah, man. (laughs) So I almost got to go into the pastor's office to get the day turn on the light. And I'm already in there. I'm like, there's spirits around me. I can just feel it. I'm like, I can't do this. I I got PTSD, man. I'll tell you, it's, it's rough. Man, I, yeah, that reminds my grandparents lived near a uh, funeral home. Mm-hmm. And whenever I was staying with them, it seemed like it was always had a little somebody over there. And I'm just like, man. <laughs> and then somebody, they have a train yeah. track in front of their house. So well, somebody got ran over. <laughs> bro, I know. I'm just sitting here. I'm about, man, got to be like five or six. Mm-hmm. And so my my imagination is already vivid at that time, and right. the train would come real late. So I'm thinking that the, the train coming to, coming to get the soul from the body. <laughs> it's just too much, man. You thought that was the Reaper train? It was too much. I was just like, this is <laughs> this is nah. Good lord, oh good lord, oh help him, oh lord, oh. You know what? We went through some stuff, man. This is yeah. creepy stuff out there. <laughs> I'm glad we made it. Glad we made it. Oh, boy. Oh, man, man. Yeah, we got to do an episode about that. Unsolved oh. mysteries. Hey, we... And how you thought whatever mm. happened was next... Do- was what? Probably the next neighborhood is thousands of miles. <laughs> hundreds mm. hundreds of miles away. you like, oh, man. Somebody had to kill him, people. Dog. The news yesterday about the dude in New York... That's, a black dude. Yeah. I was hey, when I heard that, I was like, that ain't a black man. What? All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just killing people. You know what? I think they that would appreciate as much as we went through psychologically in the lockdown. That makes you appreciate being locked down. It was like, hey, then you know. Then there's a show that we're watching on Netflix. Where a lady looks like Uma Thurman, I swear to God, if you do not squint and you're like, she looks like Uma Thurman, goes in hard, starts off randomly. I'm not bearing it, Lee. It's probably on the trailer. It starts off randomly, people like normal, just at a diner, chilling. Yeah. Do walk in, bap, bap, bap. Stuff can pop off every, any, any time Anywhere. of day, man. Any day. Anyway, I think the, to, like hmm. you said, being on lockdown, a pandemic probably made people forget that. Because it hmm. was wild stuff going on, man. Yeah. The dude with the Batman movie. Oh, yeah. This, people doing, yeah, crazy yeah. stuff, man. Walmart in, uh, in Texas. Like, yeah. man, I had to wash my back going to Walmart, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm in the country <clears throat> where they hunt. <laughs> That's all I'm about to say. You, you. <laughs> 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 Probably like, shotguns in the window. I'm 30 miles from the city. Like, I'm in the Atlanta metropolitan area, the greater metropolitan. Lord, hey, <laughs> but it's a good trade off because I don't hear no gunshots. I used to live closer, and some of the time I was like, bah, bah. <laughs> all right, well, I haven't heard that in a while. That's great. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, man. Any time of day, any time is this is, yeah, man. You got. I don't know. You got to stay prayed up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As as the uh, as the old people say, older people say. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, pay attention, people. man. You know, we get old. I gotta stop yeah. saying old people. <laughs> older folks. Yes, the old heads. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So, what were you doing? Um, what have you been up to since the last time we talked? Um, since the last time we talked, I uh, I did record and drop another podcast episode. Cool, dropped cool. that today. I actually forgot about it. Um, oh, you dropped today? Yeah. See, I did not check my fees today. My bad, man. Yeah, I, I dropped um, this morning. I forgot I did it, and then my wife was like, "Oh, I enjoyed your podcast episode." I was like, "Oh yeah, I did set that to." You forgot you did. 
Oh, you said uh, it. you scheduled it. I yeah, it. I scheduled it. it <laughs> man, it's been that kind of week. I know we only Damn. Wednesday, man, but like mm, what yeah. else? Also, what I've been doing is it's National Poetry Month, so oh. I've been doing um this poem a day challenge. Nice. And sometimes I do two poems a day, and so having to balance that. And then yesterday was just super busy <laughs> for me. Yeah, working everything else. So. Yeah, man, I, I forgot I had to schedule because I recorded it over the weekend, but I'm taking my time with the edits. So got that out there. Um, like I said, doing a poem a day since the mm-hmm. beginning of April. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Might have missed something, but uh, yeah, man, I I'll circle back around. That. Yeah, I got I to gotta put that in my lineup tonight because um, I just listened to Brandon's. I was like, I missed a few days from my podcast stuff. So I'm like, God, man, like you said this week, something wrong in the universe. I got to tell you something offline. Remind me to tell you something, something's off. At the time of this recording, I'm speaking in the universe. Hey, hey, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, it's only Wednesday. Mm -mm, No, but yes, good stuff, man. Yes. Um, as you can see on the screen, if you're watching on the video, please check out Terrence at the Brown Sugar Cafe. Yes, man. It's like we were saying before, we tried to record yeah. last time. Yeah. Didn't work out. Um, what a catra- catastrophe. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Um, <laughs> yeah. But we will, a- we will have to revisit um, the main thing things. Yeah, that you talked about. Um, you probably gonna start with that anyway, but I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Cause I think I think all right, so here's here's a, a priority. Okay, subject. okay. We talked about it yesterday. It's getting warm outside, right? It's getting yeah, hot. it's getting hot in the south. I hear you was out there cutting grass. I was out here uh doing a a uh, a cook. Um um uh, chicken and uh you know how i don't like insects especially yeah. these mention this one. if you, any of y'all listen to listen to the podcast yeah, y'all you know. mentioned it a couple of times <laughs> yeah this is this is not new so running joke in the family at this point i don't know why because it makes me feel bad <laughs> stop it you know jeez um <laughs> so i'm out there right i'm trying to set up and everything trying to do this product review of the meat stick which we'll talk about a little later okay and um yeah if you hear that people grow up is this actual product and um i'm setting up and everything on with the smoker and you remember last year i kept saying all right i gotta do something because i can't keep messing with these bees and i eventually moved everything under the gazebo right well i moved it back to where it was and um <clears throat> i don't know how long bees live That's right my thing. i don't know i don't know how long they live but it feels like the same one from last year was 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 fucking with me this time <laughs> <laughs> or did i kill your your parent i don't know anyway i'm out there it looked like the same one just a little bit older i can't get close enough but i was like mm, you look like you know me and i look like i know you so it's hovering Hovering in the same motion it did last season. I'm like, <clears throat> you know what? That's some BS. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to. I made it through Candyman. I made it through some other stuff with some bees on it. I was like, <clears throat> I built up built up my tolerance. He was like, ah, yeah. All right. Now, I, I, I forgot two things. When it get hot and, and flowers start to bloom. Bees mm-hmm. gonna come out. Yeah. Uh, so I'm over here, um, walking, do whatever I do, and next thing I know, all right, boom, be in my face. <clears throat> I was like, dang, I wasn't expecting that. I forgot where I was. Went back inside. Um, dog was like, Arr-? and April was like, hey, <laughs> you, you, I was, were you stumping and stuff because I was like, I was, like, <laughs> I wasn't walking, so. All right, cool. So um, I, I go back and forth outside, and then I end up trying to set up the 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 camera, all right, just to shoot 
so I can edit later. I just want to set it up on the tripod. So right. I want to hold it and, and do it because it's just too much work. So I, I did that. I walking outside, had the camera mounted onto the tripod. And um, I'm going out the door and I had some stuff in my pocket. And as soon as I pull the door closed and turn around, bow, the beat came through the little ring light. And I was like, I dropped everything because I wasn't expecting that shit. And then I was like, oh, shit. I came back inside, <coughs> holding the ring light. <laughs> it was broken. <laughs> oh no! No, I mean, it fell. I mean, it fell. So I had to. I had some. Had some twist ties, like the not a twist tie, but you know the little ties I, I put on them just to hold the ring on there. There was a little section. I, I just got this thing. Look, I got a vendetta now against these bees. Now, all right. So later, I'm I'm pissed off at this point. I'm like. That got me twice. Y'all sucker punching me. This ain't fair. All right, so I'm prepared. So <clears throat> I'm I'm over here, um, pulling out the um the the, the chicken and and putting the mop sauce on and all that stuff. And I'm like, and I feel some. I hear some. I'm like, all right, all right whatever <clears throat> so i'm going i'm going i'm going and and i feel something on my shoulder I, and i'm not sensitive to pressure on my shoulder but i'm like i feel the, the buzz getting like right in my ear like literally right here and i tilted like this and out my peripheral I'm like on my shoulder. and i was like it felt like he bounced twice he was like here i am yeah 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 <laughs> probably so probably so they do that little Cause, bounce because because they fly you know they don't they they don't hover they don't hover at the same level. They they do that. So yep. he was like boom boom. I was like mm -mm. and I and I, I was like mm, not today. So I put I you know I was like I dropped the ring. I ain't gonna drop this chicken. No, I no, will kill no. every ecosystem of bees if this happens. Because this is close to the end of the cook at this point. So I push it back in and I do. For whatever reason, God, I ain't going to say God. <clears throat> Sorry, God. I ain't going to lie to you. Today. <laughs> Something in the universe said, start swinging. I felt like Will Smith. I feel I feel you, Will. I'm sorry. I feel you, Will. I feel. That's how, that's how I was like, mm, you put hands on me. Because, like, I'm not in your space. I'm chilling. You keep bothering me. So now I gotta kill everything. <laughs> then you you text me later. It's like you was trying to um do some edging or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw him when I was cutting the grass and I kind of, you know, kind of maneuvered around him. They kind of flew off. And then I went to edge. Um and one just just ran into my arm. I was just like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> it's like I'll do this later. I'll do this later, man. I don't feel like this. <laughs> and I I it seems like this year is is worse. I get worse every year, man. Yeah, because I'm just like, what people, what is going on? People, all right. So here's the thing. Like I said, it's a running joke in my family. They don't take me <laughs> literally they laugh at me. And then um I think it was last year. Matter actually, I think it was earlier this year because South Carolina, like Charleston area, gets drastically hotter faster than Atlanta, yeah, Georgia. Yeah. So my mom was telling me something like I think a month and a half ago, right before my birthday, maybe or something like that. And she was like, <laughs> I was outside, I was doing my thing, and then you know, blah blah blah, and the bees chased her back in. And then she called me and she told me, I was like, see, now now y'all get it. <laughs> Now, now you get it. Now y'all get it. All right, all right. See, that's common, how long man. do you, I mean? How long do they do this little this little pollination thing, man? I don't know, but look, here's the thing. They got to hurry and get through. Here's the thing. What I learned this week, actually. Okay. One thing I learned from a while ago, from <laughs> sorry, the B movie. That we need bees to survive because they help pollinate and blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. I learned this week is butterflies also do the same thing. And I remember <laughs> reading Rainbow. I was like, butterfly in the sky. And I was like, hey, we can kill all these bees. 
we gonna have to we gonna have to like like you know synthesize honey. They do that. They probably do that already. <laughs> <laughs> then we gonna clone these butterflies at the same amount as these bees at the sole purpose. Look, humans, we already manipulate nature to do what we want anyway. What was the purpose of a hornet? A yellow jacket. What is the purpose of them? Are they pollinate to kill all of them and, cl- and clone all the bee, the no, the, the, the no. butterflies? You don't need butterflies mass, are beautiful. That's more of a clones of anything. Man. No, no, butterflies are beautiful. I I don't even I don't mess with a butterfly. Butterfly uh, yeah. on my shoulder, and I don't like insects. Butterflies on my shoulder, I'm like, mm. and and it's always that 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 theory. I hear. All the time in, in in black culture, it's like butterfly lands on you. That's that's maybe like a a deceased relative. I'm like, I ain't gonna kill you. That's just wrong, and you know you get bad karma. Bees, don't you bet not get reincarnated into a bee, <clears throat> a wasp, <clears throat> anything. You are gonna have a short life if you come around my house. I tell you that right now. <laughs> I had. The you know the little raid fly uh flying spray so I had it yeah, out there yeah just in case be, like yeah. flies come in the house because it's getting warm you know go in and out you like I don't want this <clears throat> so sprayed out there and then I realized oh this is just for um flies and mosquitoes so I just pissed that bee off good night yeah, April's like thing, yep. very very specific <gasps> man is <sighs> hey vind- vindictive even. This, I, 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 I shouldn't have done some it. Home defense on on one, um, just because mm. that's that's what we got. And I was spraying and spraying and spraying, and then I guess mm. it just got tired of being sprayed and it flew off. I was just like, so did nothing. Probably was pissed off because the wings were wet. That's. <laughs> I sprayed that thing earlier with the, with the spray, and every time this is yeah, April says like, hey yo, um, I think you pissed it off. I was like, yeah, I probably didn't, but I gotta cook this meat. <laughs> I just can't let it try it ever. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm not excited about this weather. I swear. So the conclusion that I came to again this year, I gotta figure out something. <laughs> I just gotta grill at night. What about um you tried the um what you call them? Citronella candles? Uh no. I did try a version of that back in, 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 you know, that took away the flies, but, you know, that was, I only used it really when I was outside. Okay. Because they might, might, and they I might have know. something these, that's these, meat specific, probably. These, these, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> they probably come and hang out. <laughs> I think, I thought smoke would like kind of drive away, but apparently it was no, like, ooh. No. They, now that's one thing I know. Um, from childhood, just watching like beekeepers and stuff, and they would always miss them with the smoke to kind of calm them down mm-hmm. before they went in and pulled out the little trays of honey. So Man, that didn't work in my backyard. Yeah, because matter of fact, I was smoking last weekend. Yeah, smoked some wings, and it seemed like as soon as the smoke started rolling, they they came towards the grill. Like, hey, what's that? <laughs> it's like, come on, me. I wasn't over here all this time, right? <sighs> Yeah, I I don't know. I is either I have to do everything at night because they they're not out at night. They sleep. I don't know what it is. Yeah, or if it's over. What is their sleeping pattern like? Because I went outside last night and um, I saw more than I saw when it was daylight, and I'm like, so what? Yeah, that beats my theory then. <laughs> it just and where did, where do they sleep? I mean, is there like a actual nest? I mean, I thought they have hives and stuff, but I don't yeah, know. But it's how, your, how big are they hives? Cause they, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Underground? Are they coming from somewhere else? And it's like, yeah, we're going to hang out here today, then we're going to fly back home? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, I'm serious. It's like a lot of stress on their wi- the little you know, wings. I don't know. Like, It feels like the universe kind of made them like weird, cause, like, especially the bumblebees, because they're like bottom heavy. <laughs> the wings ain't but so big, and then that means they gotta like flap them just just as hard. So they already pissed off because you know it's like, oh man, I'm just trying to make it, you know. So they already pissed off all the time. 
you know, just like people probably in Eastern Europe is like pro- tired of like going outside, probably getting bombed all the time. Like, oh, leave me alone. So, did the killer bees ever go away, or did they? Yeah, I don't know. Cause I remember um, that was like a big scare. Those are killer hornets. I remember those. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. the hornets too. The hornets was like the most yeah. recent thing. But when we were kids, they mm. talked about those killer bees. <laughs> yeah, Wu Tang. Do you remember me yeah, Wu Tang when you said that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, cause I'm a Naruto character is named Killer Bee too. Uh, I love Naruto. If you don't watch that, yeah, I don't know. I I guess they upgraded, or maybe. Maybe they're just ubiquitous enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. So tell me about those wings that you made. So, um, <laughs> it's a nice transition, right? I'm, la- no, I'm laughing because I'm like, yeah, because remember last time when we were talking, but nobody, yeah. Um, so hey, it's bring the- a bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> So uh I can't even remember the name of it, but it's uh some ranch style wings with like a sauce. And so I use a packet of ranch in olive oil and you're supposed to coat it. So this Ooh. time I wanted to see what it was like if I marinated it. So I marinated it overnight, um smoked them, mm. and then uh this time when I did the recipe, I noticed that I don't think I've ever done this before, but the sauce is like honey, soy sauce, um, some crushed red pepper, and nice, nice. rice vinegar, and you. I heated it up. Oh, so how'd you, how'd you heat it up? Um, on a skillet in the kitchen because um I had it going, and then I pulled them off, and I dipped the um because I should have had. See, I still don't have my little saucepan, um, which is good because with honey, I don't you know once you. Run too hard mm-hmm. with honey, man. It just it gets crazy. So <laughs> a little sticky situation. Yeah. <laughs> so I um and that's a mess to clean up, man. But anyway, oh, um so I dipped them in there, ran them, you know, put them in there, whatever, and then I drizzled even after I dipped them. And that's my mm-hmm. first time actually uh even grilling them or smoking them because I normally do them in the oven. But the flavor was great. I think next time what I want to do is I'll probably get an extra pack of ranch seasoning. And after I, you know, coat them or whatever, probably still sprinkle some on there afterwards. But the flavor was in there. You could taste it pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think what else. But it's like that's that sauce that you put it in that little. It's that's that's the winner. Tell there. Us that's about the sauce now. <clears throat> yeah, man, sauce, it's but... it's. <laughs> Where'd you get the sauce from? Did you make um, it? I made it. I, I made it with honey, soy sauce, Ooh. rice, wine, vinegar, uh, crushed red pepper. I think that's it. Ooh, cr- hey, crushed red pepper be yeah. a unsung hero. But it had the right yeah. amount of heat, right amount of sweet, man. And you could, like I said, yeah. you could taste the ranch. I would have liked it to be a little more of a heavy ranch taste. Mm. So okay. um, I'll probably do that next time. I'll probably actually next time probably grill them. Maybe that uh put the flavor in a little deeper, but I, I wanted to see how they would go smoke. But it had a nice smoky flavor. What type of so, wood did um, you use? Say again? What type of wood? Uh pecan. Pecan. Oh man. Yeah. I can't find pecan around here, man. For real? Before before the pandemic, I could find it all the time. During no. That's I don't crazy. know why. I'm, I could find oak. And before the pandemic, I could never find oak. And never now is prevalent. I don't yeah, get it. Yeah, and I always used to see oak. And then um, I think I was actually looking for it last time. Couldn't find it. Oh, man, I'm telling you. It's it's hard to have consistency when they, the, like, the availability of wood changes. You know, because, you know, businesses, right. <laughs> I'm sure people are like, oh, um, why is this? Why does this taste different? It's like I'm subjected to whatever God's, you know, the universe gives me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, pe- people are particular about their flavor profiles, and oh, yeah. different woods give different flavor profiles. Yeah. So, yeah, I've man. never <laughs> tried cherry, but um, don't try it on chicken. Try it. <laughs> don't we try see. it on poultry. 
Oh, oh dude. I know. I know. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, this is just us eating it. Uh, yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, because I was really heavy cherry wood when I first started really getting into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I go by temperature. I don't go by the look and all that. I can tell by the texture. You can tell when you bite into something, too. It's like, mm. well, I know enough not to keep doing that. <laughs> spit that out. Get some mouthwash. And, you know, maybe some peroxide and kill those germs real quick. <laughs> if you can't get to that, you get a little swig of liquor. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> to charge that to the game. But, yo, um, so you <laughs> people out there. There's one cardinal sin. <laughs> Speaking of the color, <laughs> that you should not do. Do not smoke your chicken exclusively or um, as a supplement. <laughs> don't put <laughs> cherry wood in there. Why? All right. If you don't know, I guess we should warn you that cherry wood actually, the, the, the main reason to use cherry wood is not the flavor. It's the color right. because it actually changes it to a cherry type color, a reddish, a pinkish color. Now, if you do what you're supposed to do and cook this chicken all the way through and you get apply a nice smoke to it, and you just had cherry wood. <laughs> you got to convince some people at your family event, right. um, whatever dinner function you at, that that chicken is done. Right. You, you trying to sick me? Sick. That's how it is. Oh, hey, put that in the microwave real quick. Little boy, I don't know. We just trying to do this. You said he could cook. <laughs> I made it through COVID. And I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna make he it sick chicken. <laughs> he trying to sick us with this chicken. Uh, then he gonna have problems on your hands. So if you ever had thought you had a future of uh, cooking for your family, that might have stopped That's it right it. there. That's it. They never Boy forgive you because they don't chicken. understand. If I had us some chicken, the chicken was red. <laughs> blood all through it. The blood that got in the meat. The blood that got in the meat. Now, now here's the thing. All right. So this is what happens sometimes because I was at the office uh, a few years ago before a pandemic, of course. And there was this dude that used to bring a barbecue. Nice dude. Good barbecue. All right. Even I know what to expect just in case. All right. So he made nice stuff on his Weber kettle. You know, and he brought it in. It was chicken. It was chicken legs. I was like, ooh, it had a nice dark color to it, nice bark and everything, bite through the skin. And I bit through, I was like, ooh, that's really pink. <laughs> then people at the table with me was like, uh, you you good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to explain why I'm good. <laughs> I was like, I don't want this. Please, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't subject your people. You know, this is the, the people that, all right, Here's the thing. You cook for an event, family, blah, blah, blah. Some people go and know what to expect because they understand how the chemistry works and all right. that. Others <laughs> are going to be like, I ain't eating that. <laughs> Where's DoorDash? <laughs> Where's Uber Eats? This Negro kind of kill me. What's wrong with you? Kill me. I thought you said you're going to cook. I don't know what's wrong with them. So don't do that. But yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't mess with cherry, man. I had to be cognizant of that um, yesterday when I was cooking. I was like, I had this cherry and and, and hickory. I'm like, well, I'm just using hickory today, I guess, because um, I was going to give some of the leftovers to my neighbor. I was like, I don't want this right. conversation. Yeah, yeah. It's going to have a little smoke ring anyway, so some of it's going to be pink. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> So how long did it take you to cook this chicken? Um, I did drum mats. It took about about two and a half, two hours, somewhere around there. Okay. So yeah, I think about two, two, two and a half hours. Um, we had some um, baked potatoes going too in the oven. Oh. So. Once I finished and you know did all that, I actually took them back out, mm. um, covered up, you know, keep them warm. So yeah, I think about yeah about two two and a half hours. So after I had already dipped them in the the drizzle or whatever, they had a nice they, it really got in you know into the meat or whatever. So 
Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Um, found some drumettes that weren't high. <laughs> Would you um, find the price is going back down? My <laughs> face, I think it's the one we talked about this last time. Mm. Um, that we did Aldi. record it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aldi. Yeah. You know, that I haven't same been to bag, Aldi I in a minute. Open the bag up. <laughs> Man, after all that time, huh? He was like, yeah. You almost forgot you had it, huh? Yeah. My wife <laughs> did. She was like, Oh, yeah, I forgot we got them drum bits in there. Like, yeah. Yeah. Please cook this before it gets freezer bitten. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that. He was like, I got to take inventory because this thing kind of crowded. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, at that time when we bought it, it was hard to find decent mm-hmm. price drum bits, man. They was wanting like, like I told you, like seventeen dollars for a, a three pound um bag. I'm just like, I didn't even know y'all sold three pound bags. It's usually four and eight, right? Then sixteen if you get like real big. Yeah, it might put a twelve in there depending on the wholesale dealer. But yeah, man, no. <laughs> odd then, numbers um, they don't do that. Yeah, Lowe's Foods they wanted um thirty dollars for a, a four pound bag. Well, hey, let me tell you what we ain't gonna do. <laughs> We just ain't going to eat chicken. And th- 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 it, people, I don't care what happens in this universe. You cannot, you cannot um, just let these people charge you any kind of thing. Here's what I would have done. I was like, um, <clears throat> hey, hey, what were we doing? Um, how much chicken we need? This much? And call that wing stop. Let's get something going. <laughs> we ain't cooking this stuff. That's that's when it's more cost cost effective to order. Heck I don't know yeah. about that. I don't you know about that. You still got to go home and clean them and, and cook it yourself. Thirty dollars, man. <laughs> Y'all crazy? Nah. <laughs> like, did you even like brine the thing for me? What? Crazy? Nah. You ain't trimmed a little like flappy stuff off nah all right cool man let me tell you so i remember um i think this happened during my birthday i went to get some lamb chops <laughs> i told you about this that's not yeah because we didn't record sorry a lot of this we had we talked about before uh but <clears throat> yeah get, all right get used to it so um <laughs> i got the lamb chops from Publix. I didn't see the lamb chops in the little rack that they had out where I did before. And if you find the ones in the rack, um, these are the the rib chops, not the shoulder ones, not the flat ones, but the mm-hmm. one that comes on the little rack that has the little bone sticking out. So I was like, let me find one of them. Let me find. Let me find them. Because I got a good price before. Went back. I was like, I can't find it. They had the individually chopped ones. I don't suggest getting those. Sometimes it's cost effective, but I like to butcher my own meat. Yeah. Um, so I asked the dude, hey man, you got any lamb back there? He's like, hold on, buddy. And I waited there for a good five minutes. He came back. He was like, Hey, um, is it okay if you we give you this? I was like, All right, cool. That's 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 fine. And then I I, I saw the price, I was like, damn. <laughs> this is a... I was like, damn, um, uh, lamb sure jumped in price from last time, so I was like, "Man, screw it! This I want to cook it." Got it home, started butchering it. Fifty percent of this thing was fat cap. Mm. Oh man! But it was good though. <laughs> <laughs> It was expensive as hell, man. It was good though. Oh man, oh man, it was rough, man. I'm like, at that point, I reevaluated my life. I'm like, well, it's time to renew my Costco membership because <laughs> Costco got some good rib chop lambs. I've never been into uh, Costco's, man. <sighs> you got to be Sam's, it. strictly Sam's. You know what? And it's not even going to Sam's. This is just that's proximity. I got a Sam's card, so I just yeah. Is it proximity or just because you got a Sam's card? Just because I got a Sam's card, I just was so like. So is the Costco hey, like kind of close? I'm trying to think. No heck, no. 
<laughs> See, it's all right. It, it makes I sense. I think about where Costco is. First of all, there wasn't even a Costco here um, for a while. Yeah, yeah, because South Carolina was pretty late on the Costco thing. Sam's was all we really had for the longest. The only one I know that's in Charleston is in West Ashley, I think. Yeah, and definitely was was not going over to West Ashley just to go to Costco. Um, Past Sam's to go to Costco at that, but I mean, there's (laughs) there's a BJ's in Somerville now, so right, that's another option. But like you said, we just grew up on Sam's, so I never ventured off uh, hey he didn't have a reason to i remember going to the sam's club on rivers avenue in north charleston south carolina holla, holla, holla. and then there was a um <clears throat> the po folks restaurant yeah for that hill hallelujah i i mean i mean yeah i missed that um that sam's on rivers boy it used to be popping that boy. was like a hop skip and a jump to go to that one and then they just want to <sighs> Want to build Tanger and hey, let's move Sam's over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's such a hassle sto- to get in and out, man. I'd tell you some stories about that one, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that Sam's right there, boy. It, it was a nice Sam's, but Lord have mercy, the, the demographic of people. Jesus have mercy. I saw. I saw. <laughs> I remember in April and I, <clears throat> early on day, we, you know, it was early on because we lived here most of our relationship. Uh, we was, um, <laughs> we went to the Sam's Club because we had a card, of course, why not? Um, and when we were checking out, we saw um, these, 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 these ladies, like with four buggies, like packed, and then they got in a taxi, and we were like, oh, we forgot where we was at. Cause Montague's like right over there. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, them lamb, the lamb. Oh my! But the lamb was good, man. So it better it, have been, man. It was a recreation of the the dish that we did for uh, April and I's anniversary. And oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so April did the the wine reduction, and. She did the marinade, like a chimichurri marinade. Very delicious. Oh. She got the recipe off of um it was a it was like a combination of things. She she took some like the base of it from I think YouTube video and then she added, she tweaked it a little bit. Okay, um, okay. Very delicious. The red wine reduction to start off with like bacon fat. Sorry. <clears throat> um, but man, just reduced down with some red cooking wine and oh, dude, man, that sounds good, man. Bacon fat and red oh. wine. Just put that thing over the um the hot coals lump charcoal with the master built uh, lump charcoal man. Let me tell you, this is, there's a couple of good charcoals I ran past these past few weeks, but if you are close to a Walmart and they do carry the master built, I would actually choose that over the raw oak. I never thought I would oh, do that, okay. but here's the thing: what I find, and maybe it's just because of distribution. But raw oak tends to be like a lot broken up more yeah, than it used yeah. to be. And I don't know if like I don't know what happened to like the, the supply chain or whatever, but I'm telling you, here's what and I mentioned this to April last night because I was like I, I, Yeah, I, I look I look weird in the store because I'm I'm like the person that does stuff in the produce and look at the like the, the, the poultry and all that, the meat section. Yeah. I I pick up the bag. And I move it around because I got got a few times when I just picked up the bag, assuming <clears throat> that it was intact. Got a home and I got a whole bunch of crumbs. Mm-hmm. So I stopped buying lump charcoal for a hot minute. Now I got hip to some stuff. Now the master bill is subjective to that as well, but I think to a lesser extent. Okay. But if the price of them is the same as uh raw oak but i got huge pieces out of this thing it wasn't consistently huge pieces but man i'm telling you there were there were pieces at least at least 30 percent of the bag was pieces like the size of my hand over here (laughs) yeah it was big (laughs) and then they they burn they burn long so you can i mean you consume less yeah a few times so it's more cost effective 
I'm gonna have so to I look at those. Over there. Man, it you said really Walmart? Good. It was at Walmart. Yeah. Okay. okay. Man, it was really Because I use the um, master build uh, fire starters now. So those I like those. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those are real good. I cooked that on the Weber kettle, direct flame. You know, mm, mm. I know the neighbors were looking like when when they saw because I like I like people. If you get used to controlled flare ups, mm-hmm. control flare ups. I mean, there's a <laughs> meme out there. It's like you know what happens when you don't click your tongs three times. You get a flare up. Boom. Now this control flare up. So the flames can be your friend. And sometimes you need that kiss of smoke. Yeah. That kiss that this is that flame that char that gets on there. Cause I let I did a reverse here, which I do with a lot of stuff, right? And then um I let it come up to about 10 degrees before my, my doneness point. So I wanted like a medium, like 140, 145. Super tender. As long as you marinate it for a few hours, you can't do this like 30 minutes before in the chimichurri. You need the vinegar to kind of break stuff down. Um, but when you when you put it on um, the direct flame after doing, like bring it up to maybe like 130, put it on the direct flame, put a little bit more chimichurri sauce on there, and, okay. and all the all the, the, the kiss of the flame comes up. Man, the neighbors were like, I'm, I'm sure they were looking through the window like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 he think he's special. <laughs> but when I brought it, man, we tore that thing up. Let me tell you, my mom. Yeah, the pictures look good, man. I can. <laughs> my mom was like, I don't know if I like lamb because we used to do the shoulder chops. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Man. I, I don't like them. They're a little gamey. Then she saw my dad. Like I, we gave him like four stacked in that same type of formation of the picture. Mm-hmm. I think about 10 minutes later, they were all gone. Then my mom was like, oh, I got to try one now. (laughs) It was so good. So all I did was, you know, do the live fire cook. April did all that prep and all that stuff, man. So that was that was great. Uh, That is a a go to if you if you got a Costco card or a Sam's Club card, go there and see if they got uh, the like the little racks of the, the rib. Uh, okay, yeah, I never thought about. Yeah, I'm at the look next time I go in there. Buy the whole thing. Don't let them butcher it for you. No. Trust me. Sometimes it's more cost effective. Sometimes it is. Like if you're just one person, yeah. it's probably cost effective if you go to Publix and get like they have like a pack of three. That'd be fine for you, one person. It might be like twelve dollars. It'd be fine for one person. But if you cook it for more than one person, I I'm... and make sure you have a, a good set of knives. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a thing where you cut all this fat cap when you butcher stuff, you really get to know your knives and how mm-hmm. like dull they are. And it only takes a, a couple of times you cut your hand, and you're like, mm. you don't really understand the first time. He's like, oh, I maybe I slipped. You got to understand why the thing slipped. Your blade ain't <laughs> supposed to slip. The only time that you cut your hand is if you just forgot and you didn't move your finger out the way. It shouldn't just slide the other, <laughs> like, a whole inch and be like, oh, ooh, I cut the tip off my finger. What happened? Yeah, it's supposed to glide. It's supposed to glide. Through whatever you cut. No, you, mm-mm. Nah. You need a good one for fat cap. I'll tell you that. Yeah, because I remember <laughs> at my folks' house, I don't know what happened with the knives, but a knife that's normally sharp. Um, <laughs> it didn't. It, I was like, "Hey, hey, what's?" <laughs> asked my mom. Said, "This another knife?" She said, "No, that's the same knife." I was like, "Man, <laughs> I don't. Know what's going on here?" <laughs> Y'all keep asking me if I'm ready, and I'm, I'm still trying to cut this fat off, man. <laughs> Thirty minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> so like, if all y'all had to do, all you had to do, is sharpen. That's a great skill to learn. I tell you, I learned that as an early age because of my grandfather, because I saw him sharpening all the tools in the backyard. I was like, yeah, I got. I don't do it that well, but at least I try, and it's better right. than nothing. Yeah, yeah. Don't use a stone. Use the little thing that come in that little knife set. Use that to your best ability. Try not to use the stone because I know some of y'all don't wash that 
that stuff off good enough. <laughs> you got residue. You got that's rock the other residue thing about knives, man. We dull our knives by submerging them in water and stuff. And Did you ever it. notice, like chefs, you know, in the cooking show and stuff, they just wipe it off. Yep. Yep. You put I, water on or whatever, and that just. Yep. What I actually do, um, because I have a set of knives that are color coded, so I know not to put them in the dishwasher now. Um, I try to use a Clorox wipe and get all the like if it's like you know, it's especially raw poultry and all that. Yeah, gotta get that off and then rinse it off real quick. Don't submerge it. Rinse it off real quick and then get it. Get a paper towel on. Just, Mm -hmm. just, yeah. That's all you need to do. Don't let them dry in the rack, boy. You no, no. Don't let them dry with with the food residue on it either. Don't yeah. let them dry the same. <laughs> don't don't get lazy. You're gonna have to end up by. You know, don't put them in the dishwasher. And, and if you put them in the dishwasher, for God's sakes, don't put them blade up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ! It's about to be like a Chucky movie. <laughs> Chucky did that to somebody, man. That was wrong. Yeah, um, on the, uh, yeah, on the little TV show, man. The dog on the maid. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. Mm, mm. So, what else you been cooking, man? Um, man, it's the last time we talked. That was it, I think. Um, uh, oh yeah, I know we you did. Yeah, else. it, it was. <laughs> I had, I'm trying to remember if, it's, if it was a recorded conversation or not. Shut up. Oh, um, <laughs> I smoked. <laughs> I smoked the whole chicken. Oh and, man, um, what did I marinate it in? I can't even remember what I marinated in. I should have left that in the notes. <laughs> but I put it in a um, because like I said, I I I ran out of aluminum. Oh, you made a you made a, a chicken quesadilla. That's what you did. That was the second part. Oh, the second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I just, you know, I just smoked the the, the chicken. Um, did I use a mesquite? Yes, you did. I remember. You used okay. the mesquite marinade. Yes, you and did. And I used a cake pan, a round cake pan, because uh-huh. that's all we had, and I wasn't going to the store. Yeah. Um, I spatchcocked it. I was like, I might as well have just left it whole because I'm, I'm working with a round cake pan, so it was kind of mm-hmm. almost, you know, almost together when I put it in there. So I was like, okay, but um, you know, I put some of the marinade and stuff in there, left some in the bottom, and you know, I didn't cover it because I wanted to be have some type of crispness to it. Right. Um, can't remember what we ate that with, but I had some left over, of course, and we were having quesadillas. Um, so I did the quesadillas with the leftover. It was mostly like breast meat and some thigh meat was in there. But uh, I also use the taco seasoning, you know, like I use with ground beef or whatever. So I did some of that and did some water, um, some peppers. I was kind of like, I hope this isn't too salty. <laughs> but I was thinking the flavor would be really good because in that nice smokiness, you know, of mm-hmm. the chicken, um, it turned out great. It wasn't too salty. The The flavor from the taco seasoning the smokiness of the chicken, I mean, it was right on point. Oh, good. good. Yeah, right on point. And then um, I thought about while I was doing the quesadillas, I was like, I would like to try maybe um, using the actual taco seasoning on like some wings or something and see how that turns out. I think it, there you I, go. There you I think go. it might be pretty good. You should put that shit on everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, speaking of that, I uh, I got to send you a little video. I I don't know if I sent it to you, probably not. But uh, April sent something to me today where I do fry some chicken and um and the the cheddar bay biscuit um box batter that you get from the store that the red lo- yeah. I was like, like, hold on, I got an idea. <laughs> you might put that shit on everything because you know yeah. if you use that as a batter, you yeah, have something in there. Or as we, we're trying to venture into, if you have your heat high enough on your grill, you can air fry that bastard on the ground. I'm yeah. telling you. Mm. Something Probably happen. use less cheese or no cheese at all. No, I wouldn't suggest using cheese at yeah. all, no. <laughs> but. but. 
I don't know. Um, maybe some like um, maybe like a Parmesan yeah. cheese type of thing. That, yeah, that, that would kind of or maybe it. if you want to put cheese, maybe the cheese on the actual, you know, whatever meat you're doing first, and then cheese and dip it in there. You yeah, know? maybe maybe near maybe. the end. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. But look, we eat sandwiches with with chicken and cheese on it, but I'm like, do I want fried chicken with a cheese taste? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, that's interesting. You know, you kind of train you your palate. Parmesan. I mean, that's a different type of cheese, though. It is. It is. It is. But but who's it's to say it's the the, the only cheese? You yeah. know what I mean? Because when I do the cheddar bay biscuits, I don't use cheddar cheese. I mean, I don't even think we really I use buy Kobe cheddar Jack. cheese like that. I use whatever I feel like. And then <laughs> I don't, mean, it don't make a difference, really. Then I make six big biscuits. I don't do the. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, hey, d- have you ever tried the Jim and Nick's um, uh, muffins? Yes, yes, Damn. yes. Oh, oh my god, I, that's 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 I, actually I better. I got a, a gift better. card for them right before the pandemic. You think it's still good? Because they were closed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to find out, man. I forgot. This is what you do: you roll up to the door, you hold it up to the glass. I made it. I need you to redeem it. I lived. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm have to find out about that, man. I'm glad we have this conversation because <laughs> it was right before the pandemic. All the restaurants closed. I was like, God, I don't it. know. Now they don't use they don't keep those around for like multiple years and stuff. They might give you man. like a year and a half. <laughs> like somebody I'm gonna, might have passed hey, it on and gifted it. You know, <laughs> one thing about me is I have a conversation. I'd be like, look, when I got this, <laughs> y'all were open. Shortly thereafter, you and every other restaurant closed. It's not my fault. <laughs> You'd be like mystical. Uh, <laughs> Is there anything? And then I got it from work too, so it's probably only like ten dollars to begin with. I mean, <laughs> no, I ain't gonna do them like that. Yeah, it's probably. You about to make a scene over ten dollars? <laughs> look, 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 it's probably only ten dollars. Might be twenty, but I doubt it. <laughs> Can't even get shrimp scampi with that shit, man. I doubt it. I, doubt it. <laughs> I, I mean, fair is fair, man. Fair is fair. Hey, hey, you know, if, if it's on the print, they have to. But see, it's I was trying to there. think of a Johnny Cochran esque type of like thing to say just now. If it was on the print, you must relent. <laughs> see, right? All right. I'm keeping that one there. And see, that's they don't have nothing on there, man. It's just a, it's. <laughs> This is this is this a this is a gift card, man. It's no type. It didn't come with any type of paper on the outside or nothing. It was just oh you know, well, shoot. Hey, how would you know? Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know if they got some kind of code or something. But like, yo, I'm I wish sorry. You would. I wish you would. It was like, mm. <laughs> like you you should have made it a universal code. <laughs> should you not did that? I gotta rely on the G code. Here's my paper. <laughs> they got some good macaroni too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Stop making me hungry. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> so we're here today uh to, to talk about a a product that I've recently reviewed. I tried to get the video up. However, uh work is kind of priority. <laughs> so yeah. I had to do that and I was trying to edit down the video. Edit down the video mostly. Um, but uh didn't do the voiceover and stuff like that so it should be up later this week before okay. easter because that's what i told these guys <clears throat> and i had to stick to it so hey Got it. um yes <laughs> so recently um by collaborative effort with uh um jeffrey boyd with uh black smoke barbecue which is a group that um i think uh nine other uh youtube um black pit masters we have formed um we um we got um a little partnership with a company named meat stick and if you hear the name meat stick grow up um because it just makes you want to say giggity i know that is true because that's what i want to do because i'm a <laughs> i'm a child uh, but that doesn't <laughs> it doesn't mean that you shouldn't take these people seriously so um have you ever heard of the meter probe? Uh, Jeffrey sent us a link. Uh, yeah, yeah. The chat. Yeah. 
So it's basically a, a true wireless thermometer that you um, you get the ambient and the meat temperature at the same time through this one probe and it's wirelessly connected through your phone. So um, the great people over at um, Meat Stick, hold this up for you, but Meat Stick sent me the Meat Stick X. <laughs> Holding it upside down. Terrible. Ugh, hold on, hold on. How does this camera work? See, if you're watching this, this is a terrible video. All right. So <clears throat> holding up the actual device now, this Meat Stick X is freaking awesome. Um, the great folks over there sent it to me, uh, got it to me on Monday and asked me to say some uh, words about it. So I shall. And I'll, I'll give more uh, information or maybe more information here, but some more information in terms of the cook in the video. Okay. So. This is cool, man. Retails for, I think, $99. Um, I will put a promo code on the show notes so you can order your own once uh, you hear more about this and you, hey, you want to order it? Fine. Um, this, I think, in my opinion, may be a greater competitor to um, meter. Um, reason being is... I don't know if you heard about Meter uh, and their acquisition by Traeger. They were basically bought out by Traeger. There was a startup company bought up by Traeger, and they they started to build their um, the tech into their pellet smokers. And they oh, came out with a, a really nice Timberline, which is their top of the line XL, which is a freaking huge thing. I got to send you the video on that one, and it's it, dude. It makes you want to say, "Hey." When we get the tax return, uh, I I knew we was gonna save it, but this thing hard as hell. When you see up there, you you, you, you got continued pitmasters out there, like you have smart home tech YouTubers even reviewing the, the that that Timberline, but um, it's here nor there. But the technology that was baked into this type of device is great. Um, this basically pairs with your phone. I have an iPhone. I gotta figure out how to work this right. This camera, right? <laughs> so you pair it with there. It's real easy. It takes two AA batteries. I unbox. I'm gonna do the unboxing on the video, and you just put two 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 AA batteries in the back. Let it charge for like two to four hours, depending on how long it's been in uh, the supply chain shipping. Press this little button on here, and this this um, green light lights up. Connects to your phone, gives you nice uh, six feet or so um, a distance to to um, to monitor your temperature wirelessly. Now, if you have really good Wi-Fi and blah blah blah, and they have some other accessories, or you have like a bridge, which is really good. So, if you have like smart lights or anything, you used to that. That's a bridge where you can connect that this one and multiple to that bridge, and you can not only monitor it remotely, but like in another country without that bridge you, you just need to be at home on the wow. same network right um so it's awesome what it does is it it gives you this is a lot like meter so it's, if if people are familiar with that this is going to be like a repeat of what you've known before but what it does is it gives you ambient temperature of your grill you put it into the thickest part of your um your protein it can go up to i gotta look at the box uh i don't have the instructions in front of me but around just keep it below 550 <laughs> preferably preferably the the temperature that a really high and um air fryer um would give you heat in terms of that right so you do that uh, as long as you do, you don't like put it as like, like searing heat, you'll maintain the integrity of the device. You, I want to use it for smoking. You don't put it on there for a steak that you're searing. Hot right. temperatures, not good. Um, but it gives you the ambient temperature of the grill. Um, so that tells you what the temperature is around the dome and all that. Maintain that. It, it also calculates. Um, or I like to use this triangulates the the internal temperature of the the meat that it's monitoring and the ambient temperature 
and it tells you or it tries to predict through algorithms how long the time it's going to take remaining for you to finish this 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 cook and it also lets wow. you set a way for you to say hey um well let me back up it has like, these preset um type of programs it lets you go in and pick your protein um it lets you edit it to um like what type of like whole chicken do you want to do pieces of chicken blah blah, blah. Uh, poultry turkey beef and all that it has different categories let you drill down as much as you want then you could customize it and say um hey i don't want to do this default like range of this is where i i should do it by the fda uh, regulations uh let me take it you can customize whatever you want so it lets you do a warning to where it's coming up to the temperature and it says hey i'm going to warn you to take it off here so you know um that the carryover temperature is going to hit the target temperature that you want to have at the end of your cook, right? And then it also warns you when your ambient temperature gives you like a range that you can do. Like uh, it's kind of like a smart thermostat. If your temperature goes below this temperature or goes above this temperature range, you get a notification. Okay. So freaking awesome. Uh, I've always used what of like wired thermometers. I have the uh, Inkbird thermometer, which is really really good. It's my go-to, um, and I have a Weber um, wired thermometer. Uh, less of my favorite for different reasons, but this right here, this right here, wires are complicated. Wires should only be prevalent. When you're doing communicative type of broadcasting or some type of content creation, you know, <laughs> wireless just doesn't work for audio, video. You get the best thing when you're wired. It's yeah. not the same thing for temperature management. This is a game changer because, man, what if your probe, the, the, the cord is not long enough for you to stretch over here, blah, 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 there. And it's just like, uh, you got to, to deal with the cord you know, taking it off this. And, you know, if you ever took a probe out, you know, just make sure it doesn't dangle and like scrape something that you don't want to scrape. it. like, now I got to wash the damn thing off and shit. You know, <laughs> it's all that. So the only thing you got to worry about this is not dropping it. Um, it's pretty big. I don't know. You, I don't know how you drop it. And well, I don't know. I drop my phone sometimes, but um, <laughs> <laughs> then you got to the same thing with the knives. Don't put this in the dishwasher. Oh, no, keep it yeah. clean. But don't put this in the dishwasher, people. They use the same treatment: um, a Clorox or Lysol wipe. Rinse it off under the water, and then wipe it off real nice with a paper towel. That's all you need. Put it back in this charger. It should, on a full charge, take you 24 hours. So if you are <clears throat> the type of person that needs to have a 24-hour straight cook. God bless your heart, because yeah, I don't know. Yeah, um, uh, yeah you should. <laughs> In best case scenario, you have somebody to help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yes, it would it would do that for you. So it's awesome, man. Um, I'm really happy to be yeah, in this like partnership it. with uh, with Meter, and I hope the I hope the uh, relationship grows, man. Because um, there's a lot of dope stuff that they're doing. They have a. I want to get the the mini one that they have because you know how large and or thick this is yeah this is, this is pretty good for like i put it in the uh pulled chicken that i did yesterday um but it's it's kind of big for like what if you want to put it in something like smaller you know like a, a regular size probe they make a mini version in that too yeah so, like a leg of lamb yeah exactly so they make a smaller like thin thinner version of that okay probe. okay they call it the meat stick mini. <laughs> yeah. Grow up. <laughs> There's some great people. We'll leave the promo code so you get some, uh, you know, a little discount off of your purchase. So holla at the good people at the meat stick. Yeah. Congratulations, oh, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, man. This is a hey, great people. Uh, Jeffrey, great credit for getting getting everybody in contact with the great people over there awesome people to work with 
Like, <laughs> like they will literally be on top of every type of communication. Really professional. Oh, like, really yeah. professional. That makes a yeah. difference. It does. Yeah. Cause you know, um, you know, we our daily job, we we kind of deal with people all the time. And you know, when you outside of your day job, you like, I don't want to deal with those shenanigans. Like, I got to yeah. come chase behind you. But man, right. on top of everything, I had to make sure I was on point. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's a good problem to have. Exactly. Let me, let me make sure I'm on point. Right. But man, I I'm excited about all the cooks that I'm about to do with this thing. The, the um, chicken, Terrence. Let me tell you. All right, so I made this a larger deal in the last recording that we tried to do, which is not technically a recording because it didn't get recorded. But um, I mentioned that um, started the business, the barbecue business, uh, Maverick Barbecue. Yes, that's um, what I was alluding to earlier. Yes. Yes, I did not pick that up. Sorry. <clears throat> it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <sighs> um, but yes, um, man. <sighs> Yeah, I, I'm trying out perfecting things right before doing the grand type of opening, semi-opening, whatever I want to call it right. for the business. So perfecting my recipes. Yesterday, I went a little outside of pocket. Let me tell you why, because I was a little worried. <laughs> All right. So I, I had to do this yesterday to make sure I was like on schedule. But I remembered Monday to about this time in the evening. I was like, hey, I got to go to the store. I really need to go to the store. Um, I got to go get the chicken because I, I usually have whole chickens in the freezer. I didn't. Okay. Way. I used them all. Um, so I was like, I got to go to Walmart. With the Walmart, I almost lost my shit because I'm like, sometimes when you go to Walmart, it's like, it was like four cartons of chicken, anything. So I'm like, oh, now I got to go to Publix. So I walked away and I looked to my left and in that little bin in the center, I was like, oh, this is chicken. And it said yeah, hens. They do that now. They say hens. It, it had the hen thing on it and it was frozen. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, no. I'm glad I got it <clears throat> that day. So I was like, let me take a chance. Let me take a chance. I was like, hens. Like it's not a Cornish hen. It's not the little thing. It, yeah, it was, I know what you're talking about. You yeah. actually bought hen. It was bacon hens. Baking hens. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I was worried because I'm like, <laughs> it, there has to be a different type of mm -mm. um cooking procedure with this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. That skin is that, that skin is tough on a hen, boy. It is. Um, but the good thing is I was making pulled chicken. So okay. Negligible. Thank you, God. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, people, that's why they call it baking hens. Because if you bake it, you probably <laughs> skin work. Don't worry about it. But let me tell you, I'm not going to, I just had to use this for this purpose, but that's not something I'm going to continue using. However, it turned out great. So video is going to come up. But basically, the claim to fame of this cook above any others because I kind of did everything mostly the same but this one I made my own mop sauce and I'm going to give a big shout out to the TNT cooks because I, I ripped off of most of that and it's a Carolina mop sauce it's a it's a okay. eastern Carolina mop sauce so um, you know we like I don't know. People, some some people like sugary barbecue sauce, must uh, mustard barbecue sauce, ketchupy barbecue sauce. What? Um, I'm kind of in the middle. Vinegar. But I I don't care really. Um, but trying to hone the whole thing because the mission is low country barbecue, right? Trying to get everything set up right. So trying to see, hey, and I went to Rodney Scott. So I'm like, damn, this shit's good. I had pulled pork. I'm like, damn. I can get this mop sauce down because he doesn't wrap. He does mop sauce on everything. Yeah. But he doesn't tell you the ingredients. He just says <laughs> it's um, paprika. <laughs> <laughs> you see the little lemon and, and <laughs> you see the lemon floating around there and, and the red pepper flakes like, eh, I don't know about that. <clears throat> but it's so good. All right. 
So I'm like, even though I got these hands, I'm going to make this work. I got two of these things and they were, they were frozen. They were heavy and they're pretty big. Yeah. Are pretty big. Yeah. Larger than what the normal, the young chickens that you would buy. Yeah. Pretty good size. Now the meat contents that when you break it down, not so much trade off for that. It's just the bones are huge. Not the meat. This is not more meat. The bones are just huge. Um, so put that in the master built digital uh charcoal smoker man let me tell you hey darth vader is a beast man <laughs> hey let me tell you another thing um <laughs> uh charcoal that i used this time and i mentioned last time I, I tried it out on something i forget what it was um but those bnb char logs those competition char logs yeah. in that red bag oh my god <sighs> look here's here's one thing you gotta have the, the keep the get the fire going hot enough. You got to have some like I would buy some cheap briquettes just to just get them going. Yeah, get the fire yeah. Hard enough, but when you get them suckers going, it's just like burning wood logs. They go hot and long. I'm telling you, I I have a thirty pound bag. I bought three thirty pound bags for fourteen ninety nine each at Academy, and uh, I haven't used the whole bag yet. I think I did like three or four cooks with them. I haven't used the whole bag yet. Now it's a heavy bag, but it's huge chunks of log. Like, okay, so it's basically it should be the length, most of them in the length of your hand. Okay. And some of them are broken up because you know packaging and delivery. And, and all the people that, who but, work, they're throwing them down. Yeah. But there's <laughs> a good thing. But uh, there's one thing um that I, I really like about Academy that I learned from uh Jeff is uh they and i was annoyed at this at first because i'm like dang why don't y'all deliver there's a reason why they don't deliver they don't want the, you to blame them for breaking up your charcoal got okay. it thank you let me do yeah. that so let me tell you this, this bag is heavy as hell you know <laughs> my dog is 30 pounds it's a different type of heavy because it's like it's basically like wood in there right. but it's a really decent um quality bag you're not gonna rip it it's not it's like it's not like any other bag it's, it's, it, it's woven something in there okay 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 really good i tell you i dumped maybe a charcoal chimney full of it into the the bottom of the smoker okay and had another chimney of uh, briquettes just to get the fire going because you got to be sometimes it needs help getting that thing going and the fan kicks in and bloom then you're good but I ran into some occasions where I let I thought the uh the, the charcoal starter um was going to be enough and it wasn't. I needed some real hot charcoal real fast. Um but hey man, I'm telling you. If you need to smoke something for a long period of time and you want to have a cost-effective way to do it, I can probably go into that smoker which is not really fuel efficient cuz you can't shut it down after you cook. Yeah. Some of the stuff is just going to keep burning. I could probably go in there and still pick up a piece of a chunk of something rather than every other type of fuel I've used before has already just crumbled into ash. Wow. Man. Academy Sports, $14.99 for a 30-pound bag. And those things are competition char logs by BNB. That shit ain't. Put that thing with some hickory smoke chips, chunks, and a yeah. little bit of some some little post oak I had. But, but that mop sauce, man. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna like keep the details of the mop sauce a little to, to myself a little bit. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. You're going to need some. It doesn't have to be expensive. Um, some apple cider vinegar, some brown yeah. sugar. So I hope that you're okay with brown sugar, people. There's a substitute, but I don't know how it's going to taste. The, the you're gonna have to have a little pepper in it. You can you can. I'm not gonna tell you exactly, but you're gonna have to need a little pepper. You're gonna need a little salt. You're gonna need a little. You're gonna need a little uh, red pepper flakes. Or uh, peppers. I use pepper sauce, and I and I kind of, kind of um, used an immersion blender when I was uh, putting it on the stove. 
then uh, you're going to need a little uh, sprinkle something else. So basically what that, that mop sauce is, it gives you like a vinegary but peppery type of uh, dynamic. Okay. And that actually keeps the meat going in and it keeps moistening the meat. A lot of people spritz with part water, part apple cider mm-hmm. vinegar. This mop sauce, and you always got to do it. You got to wait until the seasoning is already set. If you touch your your meat, <laughs> sorry, this sounds terrible. If you touch um whatever you're cooking, and the the seasoning doesn't move, that's your time to start mopping. None before because you may lose some of that, and you're gonna yeah. eat yourself. Um, but man, I, I eventually wrapped because um I got impatient. And then I did remember while I was I was looking up because the, the I know the skin um of the the hen kind of gets tough and it mm, was yeah. regardless. So here's one thing about it. Here's one thing about the those hens. If you find a way to the the crisp that skin up, because there before I wrapped it, I did break a piece off just to see because I'm like, oh man, I was eating, I was putting the mop sauce in it, but I'm like, dang, is that piece drying out? It was like one piece that I didn't. I, maybe didn't get a lot of it it was a little crispy man that skin was crazy good <laughs> so if you could crisp it up i'm just saying so it was hell pulling that thing dude it was hell. Like, yeah and now i know why you told me that it, and i was just like to pull some chicken but it's hen now i know why it's it's all the tendons and all, all everything <laughs> Hen, I'll never buy another hen. Matter well, of fact, I didn't buy the one I had, but I'll never try to cook hen. I won't say never, but my first experience was baking it, and I stayed away since then because I that was my first time actually baking a whole chicken. I was in college, oh, and um, I had to call my mom's, and I was like, uh, "Yeah, um, it seems to be taking a long time." Like we had cut it, looked in it, yeah, and you know, she was like, "Oh yeah, that's a hen." I meant to tell you, and I was just like. Mm. Still, I was like, okay, it's still chicken. And she was like, no, no, you really got the guy. I was like, ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if the, the, the taste turns out different, but if you if you don't treat it with care mm-hmm. and you just all will and nearly pull that thing, no, nah, you, you are not going to have a good time of your life there. Um, <laughs> it took me, okay, so two, two of them took me a good... A, I, it had to be over 30 minutes because I, I, I'm really meticulous. My father-in-law, when he watched me eat crab, he literally watched me eat crab like, damn, did you break that shit? <laughs> I will sit there and you will see nothing but shell. There will be no remnants of meat. It will be all cold and stuff. I'm like, I ain't worried about the temperature. I'm talking about, I'm worried about the, the taste because you, if you worry about crab getting cold, whatever, you're going to be disappointed at some point. Um, but man, yeah, especially blue crabs, man. Yeah, they, yeah. they don't stay hot long. Nope. So man, I, I broke that chicken down just like it was a crab. I like found every like little tendon and like just pulled, just pulled it, pulled it, pulled it. And then here's what you gotta do. Whenever it's I'm I'm so glad I did it because I usually do it with chicken anyway, but I'm really glad I did it with, with the hen. <laughs> oh god, oh lord. Um, so what I I had to do. Is um, I had to, <laughs> good thing I saved the drippings. Okay, yeah. Because when you pull it, the white meat is probably going to dry out. Mm-hmm. You, you, I wrapped it and everything. I put a whole bunch of butter, uh, just so it would stay tender. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, it's 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 one of them things. <clears throat> I'm glad I did it because it saved it and. Redistributed that that the juice in there. I had like a, a huge wire rack holding both of them, and I had the pan that went with it under it to catch it, so it, it kept my grill clean too. And then I put all those drippings back in there, and I, I just I just folded it in. Then what happened is I I um I woke up this morning because I let it sit, I like to let my meat rest. Yeah. Let it sit. Even before that, April tasted last night. She was like, "This is." I usually am the one that says, "Dang, this is the best thing. This is the best version of this." She was the one that said, and and came back today, and we had some pulled chicken sandwiches for lunch. 
she was like, I'm not, I don't know if I'm hungry enough to eat all this. Next thing I know, <laughs> damn, that thing gone. <laughs> Because I stacked the thing up high, the okay, same yeah. height. Like I just stacked it up high, and um, yeah, it was looked like a lot. But damn, that shit went. That mop sauce was the star. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. I I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I'm happy about that too, man. Because that 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 Maverick barbecue is already on the way. <laughs> oh, I feel it. I feel already it. On the way. Some, some videos are coming. Some, yes. some good stuff is coming, man. Uh, but yeah, it's I'm I'm more more to come. We will have a lot to talk about that, and more to come about the whole Black Smoke Barbecue venture taking uh, with uh, the crew taking flight soon to a uh, social network near you. But until next time, um, what are you going to be up to? Um. Trying to think. Got poetry month. So yeah, you're gonna be, um, you be doing that every day? Well, yeah, I've been posting a poem every day on Instagram. Sometimes I share it on Facebook, but most of them on Instagram. And then um Reader's Digest is doing the the poem a day and they have it on their website. So I post the poem every day under the comments and stuff. Cool. Um since it's National Poetry Month, I want to write a poem, like a uh, shout out to the poets. Mm-hmm. So I'm working on that, and I'm going to probably do a podcast episode, um, just spotlighting National Poetry Month, kind of talk about what it means, and then I'm gonna do the poem on there. That's the plan. That's um, I'm okay. still working on my book. The goal is to try to get it the first draft at least done by the end of the month, but we'll see. All right, we'll see. Can I read it? Yeah, I, I, no, I'm just. Yeah, yeah, man, <laughs> I'm, I'm just. Kidding. Kidding. I'm just kidding. No, you. Hey, remember you volunteered, brother, because I'm gonna need some ice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah you know, uh, they never <laughs> had me as the proofreader before. You know, uh, yeah, you see my typos. <clears throat> hey. Uh, <laughs> main thing is the content and the quality. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm here for you, man. When you have multiple people looking at it. Somebody catch the typos, man. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, matter of fact, the editor, if nobody else, the editor. Then, right, right. You know, why am I paying you for? You know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's dope, man. And um, it's always great talk about live fire, man. Yeah. Um, I didn't got myself hungry, real hungry. I did not prepare because, um, oh, sh- I can. I'm gonna eat me some pulled chicken sandwich. That's what I'm about to say you got pulled chicken, man. man. You got, I got to take my neighbor his um his container because I was like, hey, uh, Mike. Uh, I didn't say it like that. It was a theory. <laughs> um, I was like, wait, hmm, because I told him last time I um I made the pulled pork, but I got to him too late, so it was like a couple of days later. Mm, and yeah. you don't give people like nah. Cold daily beat. <laughs> nah. So I was like, um, I was going to give him some more pulled pork. So I was like, man, let me do some pulled chicken because I could have did pulled pork, but I'm like, I want some chicken this time. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, man, uh, I got to take that over there a little bit later. But, man, it's oh, it's it's always good, man. It's it's always yeah, like a, a, little, a little place of zen. You know, the bees be fucking with us. And, you know. Yeah. We gotta figure that out. Got to figure that out, man. I, I tried the little peppermint oil thing. Um, where I put it, it seemed to work, but so far the downside is is now instead of them congregating over there near the fence, they're hovering in the middle of the yard. So I'm just <laughs> what does that remind you of? Um rejunification. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm a, I don't oh, know, man. I man. I don't know. Damn. We'll figure it out, man. <laughs> At least I know it's keeping them away from a certain area, but I'm not about to just waste all my dog on peppermint oil all over the yard and in the fence. Just <laughs> I turn on the water holes first. Hey, hey, I tell you, I got a power washer, dog. I, I messed up a bird one time. I was sure enough not. <laughs> 
my neighbors are going to like just have. I I wonder if they're like sitting up because I'm at the bottom of a hill. I wonder if my neighbors is sitting up, especially kids, because you know they be, they be always. <laughs> I I was, kids saw they probably traumatize them. Man. I was like, "What's that Negro doing?" <laughs> hey, there's a black. Oh, look, there's a black family that the way that they're screening porches, they have a direct. Okay. If I'm under the gazebo, nobody can see me. If I'm where right. I'm at now, everybody. So I need to go back under there. Because <laughs> cause I know that they saw me spaz out with this BS. Because <laughs> when I walked back outside, I heard them talking. They were, I don't know if they're talking about me, but they were laughing. <laughs> I'm like, am I the butt of this joke? They might have been that. <laughs> they probably was like, oh, hey, oh, he coming back outside. He coming back outside. <laughs> Sit down, sit down, sit down. Get your drink. Get your drink. <laughs> you can't miss this. Hold on. Get TikTok ready. Oh, we're going to go viral. Look at him. <laughs> he won't even know it until a couple of years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Savannah and the whole of copy is going to try to find me, get me on the Today <laughs> Show to talk about, like, hey, what do you feel about that going viral, right. spazzing out in the backyard? Like, hey, man, <clears throat> you need to stop my business. All <laughs> y'all, it's a patient of my privacy. This is this is ambush journalism. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Until next time. Hey, hey. What 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 happens? What happens now is not the fact that you got to worry about a snake in your boot. You got to worry about that goddamn bee everywhere, man. Like everywhere. Look, everywhere. when you got the car, yeah. Well, nah, we park in the garage. As long as they don't get in before you close the door. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're right. I'm just saying. There's some yeah. clever mofos, man. And they hang around the backyard. That's the thing. It's like one might have hung out by the front, you know, bush one or two days and it was gone. But I still sprinkled the peppermint oil over there anyway. It's like the trap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Just... <laughs> but that backyard, man, it's just like, what is going on back here, <laughs> All on yeah. the other side. Hey, it's like it's like, hey man, it, it reminds me of that that scene in Snowfall. It's like, hey, what a party going on back here? Hey, yeah. oh, hey, it's like the one in the front telling everybody where to come. It's like, hey, y'all hey, doing hey. shrooms back here in the back? In the back. <laughs> party in the back. Party in the back. Just fly over the hey, fence. Put LSD in the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, y'all be safe out there. Hey, don't piss them bees off, man. <laughs> There's some vindictive motherfuckers. I tell you that. <laughs> Have a happy Easter. Hey, if you do eat pork, cook that ham. If you don't eat pork, cook that lamb. That sounded good. I like that. Hmm. That was actually nice. Yeah. It's <laughs> good shit. I need to remember that. When... <laughs> yes. But. <laughs> Smoke out there for Jesus. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's go. So everybody be safe out there in these streets out there with them bees and those wasps outside. Hey, just don't put on any sweet perfume or lotion and stand next to a rose bush because they can't tell the difference. Hallelujah. I hope you don't get stung coming out of church service. Thank you. Sunrise.